This fall marks the 50th anniversary of the Austin East High School merge. In 1968, Austin High, a primarily African American school, and East High, a primarily white school, became one to promote desegregation within the district. Reporter Gabrielle Hayes tells us how alumni came together to celebrate the milestone. Gabrielle? Brandon, Austin East alumni from all over the country made their way to Knoxville this weekend for homecoming and to honor a moment in history that still impacts students today. 1968 was a really, really pivotal year in, in, in African American history. 14 years after Brown versus Board of Education, two East Tennessee schools became one. And here in, in you know, little bitty Knoxville, our attempt at desegregating was to c combine Austin and East High School. For the last 50 years, Austin East High School has been nestled on what is now Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue in East Knoxville. I, I have classmates that come from New York, Hawaii, because they really, really feel a strong tie to the East Knoxville community. Today, alumni say that history is strong and something they will never forget. It was a vital time in our community, uh, you know, kind of marking the end of or moving toward the end of segregation. LaKenya Middlebrook graduated in 1998 and says every single class understands the significance of 1968. There's just so much rich history. There are so many wonderful graduates and educators who have come through these halls. But five decades later, alumni will tell you it's not just about celebrating the school's past. At our bad days, we turn it around. Academic success is on the rise. But also shining a light on its future. So, we are not just athletes. Yep, we right. are people that go out and succeed in the world. Yep. And never forgetting the school that made them who they are. Everywhere that I have been able to go, a big part of that foundation was laid right here at Austin East, and I don't know that I would have been the person I am today if I were not a road runner. Now tonight, it's also the school's homecoming game against Scott High School out of Huntsville, Tennessee. Definitely a lot of reasons to celebrate and a lot of history to be proud of. Brandon? Absolutely. Gabrielle, thank you very much.